What brings you to the Adriatic? My crazy husband, who loves to do these car rallies. That's his uh, source of uh, relaxation, I think, and adventure. Because we love rallies, and uh, I did with the same organization I did uh, Peking to Paris. So, tell me, are we ready for this? We are, yes. We hope Looking so. forward to it. We've never been to this part of the world, so it'll be a nice drive. Weather's nice, it's not raining. Not raining, <laughs> but but it be not up. too much sun, that's even <laughs> better. So where are you going today? Uh, I'm not sure, my wife knows. Ljubljana. <laughs> Ljubljana. Well, we're going to wing most of it, hopefully not get lost, and end up in Ljubljana this evening on time. That's about all we're hoping for. <laughs> Early days? Yeah, I, I think it's serious, yeah. What's happened? I think it's either dropped a valve, and I think maybe the engine is seized. Unfortunately, we've only done 60 miles. What do you think you might do if you can't go any further? Are you going to carry on and watch the event? Well, I'd love to. I don't know whether I have to, can hire a car or I've no idea. I mean, I've never been here before. <laughs> so I want to carry on, Tony, <laughs> definitely. Three, two, one. We got lost, it was kind of fun. We explored the mountains in order to catch up. We really speed up good day uh, in terms of that. Not so good in terms of uh, classmen, but we're okay with it. Well, there is a long way to go. Uh, how's the Bentley performing? Oh, no problem, it's the Bentley. It goes and goes and goes, yeah. yeah. And of course, it's a big birthday for you Bentley boys. A hundred years, right? Uh, but mine is only 91, and uh, oh. therefore also the oldest car on the rally. Yeah. Great day, did break out, so everything is good. So rolling. The morning was terrible. It was a beginning, yes, and the afternoon was very good. Only five seconds delay. Yeah, we're going to Maribor. It's the second day. The car is running great. So we're gonna keep on going and uh, enjoying ourselves. It's fun, like, and today has been wonderful. The scenery is amazing, um, the people here seem to be very friendly, so uh, everything is great. And how's your navigation? Oh, perfect. <laughs> of course. <laughs> My navigator from the speed tables wrote down the wrong times. We came in perfectly on time, but the phone's wrong. <laughs> so we're getting closer to swapping roles. <laughs> It lost power on the hill, <laughs> and uh, we figured out it might be some ignition problems. And we have some spare parts in the back, so we changed the cap and the distributor, and now we're trying to clean it. First rally for me, first time navigating, Ooh. so... Uh, this is our first rally. Yeah, so oh, it's, uh, it's super fun, yeah. yeah. How are you enjoying the roads in this fantastic venture? It's a fantastic uh, experience. I'm afraid something would happen because it's too, uh, it's, it's going too well at the moment. So. <laughs> I do really like the road. I'm trying to drive as quick as I can, but the engine has only 65 horsepower. That's a little bit less for this rally, but it's quite enjoyable. Morgan, how is it all going and how is the Camaro? The Camaro um, got a uh, Wings, <laughs> because of the engine, okay. but uh, she's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> oh, wobbly! <laughs> yes. So far, so far, so good, you're enjoying it? Yes, of course. So quick. <laughs> Nicholas, how's the navigation going? I'm um, getting my head round it. It's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? There's an awful lot of information coming at you, but you have to process it quickly as you can and get on with it. There we are. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Link roads are great. You know, in regularity, we just can't get our head quite around it. But, <laughs> but we, we, it's still fun to drive it. That 
fantastic. You were sideways everywhere. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was very nice, really. But the car is a little bit too, too heavy, but it was nice. Regularity is not our thing, so we're, we're not doing that great. Uh, when we do these little tests, I'm home and we can score pretty good, but there's not enough of them to make a difference. So far, I like all the roads, gravel, no gravel, all of it. I think it's great. It's more challenging when you have different type of uh, terrains, from tarmac to gravel. I think that's what really is exciting. Starting day four, you're fourth overall and leading the vintage class. You must be happy. Um, I touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some very tight, dusty gravel sections. That's not a problem. Fast. That's not a problem at all for me. No, uh, <laughs> not at all. We're slowly sliding down the leaderboard, yes, yes. so uh, we started well. In golfing parlance, if you start off with a birdie on the first hole, it really can't get a lot better than that. And unfortunately, that's what's happened. We are going downhill, <laughs> but we're going to improve today. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I think there must be a stone went in the what do you say spoke. the spokes and so one spoke was broken and then they nearly all were broken so we had to stop and change the wheel but you will carry on of course I will carry on Interesting day, we're getting the hang of it, so the uh, the regularities are coming pretty well now. The car's behaving, one over shot for the uh, circuit test, but we managed to turn off at the next junction and get back. So we didn't lose anything. Oh, I think we're doing satisfactorily. I wouldn't say it's exceptional, but we're doing fine. The best part of the rally for me is just being able to get into the towns and see the beautiful architecture and We've traveled through gorgeous country, and uh, it's been a great experience. There's a certain ranking of navigators. It starts by good navigator, very good, very, very good, very, very, very good, excellent. And uh, I have a good navigator. I fall asleep sometimes. You know? <laughs> we do rallying in order to explore the world, and it's no better way than doing it with pre-war cars because you really get to know the locals and get in touch with them and yeah that's why we do it. I think the toughest bit, if I think the regulators on the first day, they were quite rough. But generally not too bad. Not too bad but you're in the top ten. <laughs> We've got a good car. Hey, congratulations, you moved into the lead of the vintage class, so are you happy with that? Yes, we are very happy with that and, uh, and we hope that we can hold this place till the end. Oh, the last regularity was a little bit difficult. It was very slippery and uh, it was difficult to see the traffic against us. What's the story over the next couple of days? Oh, more of the same, <laughs> but hopefully without the rain. <laughs> now, I think the weather's going to get better, you know, we're more coastal based now and so it's going to be much more of you know, the views like we have behind us now, um, certainly for the overnight halts. But still some great driving and regularities ahead. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes, with a few surprises in store, it's going to be good. <laughs> What's going on? Bus there. Bus there. Bus there. And about a hundred cars all trying to get up the mountain. And one stop on the hairpin. There's another one up there. A road that's just big enough for one bus is having to cope with three buses. Um, and we're completely jammed. Going nowhere. Although we can uh, enjoy the view.
We're in Mostar, which is one of the larger cities in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's predominantly Muslim, as you can see from the minarets around here. And we're standing on the famous Mostar Bridge, a really ancient bridge that joins the two sides of the village together over, I think it's in the Retva River below. This bridge was destroyed in, uh, during the Balkan campaign, something around 96, 97, and it's just relatively recently been rebuilt. Competition is very good, going very well, so we are managing a bit our distance. When we think we can attack, we will attack, but probably we can get lost, <laughs> and then, then we'll go down, down on the classification. We would really like to do our best, but of course you never know, you, we can get lost or the car can break. So yeah, we keep our fingers crossed, we are working hard, but yeah, it is still not finished. The regularities, you, you, you learn new skills as you're sort of travelling along, and, and then we're really sort of picking up on stuff, aren't we now? Yeah, yeah. And you both get on together very well? We, uh, yeah. we do, yeah. On the time of our life. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good, it's always a good to end to the day if you haven't had a fallout. I couldn't do this with, with my wife, I know that. <laughs> Some can. I think the first day was a low point for us. I think breaking down within two minutes of the start of the first regularity wasn't actually how we hoped that rally would pan out. But since then, we've, we've been all right. And What's been the most enjoyable bits for you so far? Last hill climb yesterday I enjoyed. Um, well, we didn't quite make the time, but then neither did anyone else. How long have the brake problems been going on for? Since lunch. So have you been losing time? Zero, zero on the last one. <laughs> Albrecht, uh, we see you checking your tyres. You've had to swap the spare. Yes, I had to because they were really worn out and I took the wrong tyres. These are semi racers, they are too soft. And therefore I saw, on the, or I heard better to say, during the last bends, this, this noise, which is not good if you hear it. How did it go? Uh, well, that, that went okay, but we had a bit of bad, bad morning, so, uh, so I think the gap will still be there. Yeah, we sure. get in. in fact, it might be a bit bigger. You're still fighting for a podium place. Yes. There's a big fight going yes. on. How do you think the morning has gone? I think it was okay for us. Yeah, we were really um, um, focused, focused to, to lose uh, the minimum time at each stop. It was a boy's dream. <laughs> it was just great. But to chase that jack through those curves and uh, outstanding. Just great. Car track was wonderful. I wasn't quite quick enough to uh, knock some time out of the TR. We managed to beat the, the Amazon by about seven seconds, so we're happy with that. Yeah, the test went okay. The car was misfiring just a little bit on the test, but I don't think we lost too much time, so uh, it's uh, pretty good. Last day, always the sting in the tail. It's all going to come down to tomorrow when the regularities are tricky. Oh, we've had a great event. We sort of uh, achieved all our objectives, which was to get back to Trieste in one piece. The car's been fantastic. Not sure about both of us sometimes, but great memories. And today was an excellent drive into Trieste. Brilliantly organised and a really fantastic route through some really interesting places that I would never have gone to um, had it not been for the rally. So really enjoyed it. Uh, it's our first event, yes. so we're, this is the standard we, we will set our events uh, to. It, it was just non-stop and it was, we, we just loved it. Great last day, we had one sort of hiatus moment on the last regularity where I lost track of time. 
just before the single TP. We know that we were only one second behind the Healy at um, the time control. But by some miracle we came in with a three second penalty. We'll be very, very close, I don't know. Are you happy? Yes, very, very happy because it was really, really short between us, between yes, us and the, and the force. We did okay, but uh, the Camaro crew was just that little bit better, so they've overhauled us. Looks like they've got third overall at the moment. If the result is confirmed, we just have always yeah. three, no, three, three, three seconds, seconds now, so really short. For us, this is a massive improvement on anything we've ever done before, so uh, you know, a couple of well, idiots from Yorkshire were getting the hang of it. And the winners totally They deserve to win, absolutely. absolutely they were on the second every yeah. time, aren't they? It's amazing, you know. Yes. This last day, really big pressure. Getting here it was a mix of relief <laughs> and being happy. I'm really satisfied. I was not expecting to win uh, such an event like mm. this, honestly.